out there driving today. Let me see if I'm about to turn up the volume over this truck. So what's up, Brandon Hicks? You're first in. Oh, we got seven people. Now we, now we, now we got people coming in here. What's up? <laughs> okay. Give me a second. I'm about to set my tablet up so that I can read y'all the comments from here. We are waiting to pick up our load. We don't have to pick it up until 6 o'clock today. So I decided today is the best time to go live. And Jason and Kat is in the back sleeping. So if y'all hear snoring, that's them. So let me see if I can find this live video. Let's see. Hopefully if I can set this up on my tablet, I can talk to you guys and read your comments at the same time videos let's see i've never hey, done this before let me turn my volume down shark tank here if you're watching this video that means skip ad okay i don't know how delayed this is how do i get rid of these things how do I get rid of the comments without exiting out of the video? So, ugh, I'm looking kind of blurry, y'all. It's because this truck just parked right here. It was like plenty of light until he parked right here. It says, let me see, these comments going kind of fast. It's, wait a minute, hold up now. <laughs> Hold up now. Um, Dirty Broke 215 says, I thought that was you at the loves earlier. Okay, which loves are you talking about? Because I am, I know I tagged this video, um, Little Rock, but I'm not in Little Rock. So tell me which loves am I at? Because I'm waiting on my load still. And if you saw me at the loves, how come you didn't say nothing to me? Uh, let me put some chapstick on too, y'all. My lips looking kind of dry. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, you're right. So you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that you saw me at the loves and you didn't say nothing to me? You just you just let me uh I got out the truck like three different times. I took my shower and then I went and purchased a headset or not a headset, the clip because my clip had broken off of my um dash and I just did some pre-recorded videos for an ad that you guys are going to see me in in the near future. So I can't believe you saw me and you didn't um you didn't say hi you just you y'all drivers be acting like y'all scared to get out of y'all trucks and talk to me yesterday i was at the loves in arkansas and this driver walked past me and he looked straight at me and i went into the truck stop and it took him forever to walk up to me and say something to me i'm like why do you guys like i do not bite like y'all can walk up to me and say something to me okay let me see if i can go let's say some hate so we got brandon crazy bubba zedrick d is your highness what's up bluebird marcel lewis um oliver baker humble homestead i love your name Richard Lowe, what's up, man? Um, M. Frost, Chris, Bless Tone, what's up? Uh, Brendan, we got a lot of bees in here. And let's see, Chevelle, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, Chicago, Monty, J. Truth, uh, Trucker, I'm fine, I'm doing okay. Thank you to Richard. Uh, this is a wig. <laughs> Um, I had to do a quick video uh, for this little ad and I didn't want to, I didn't feel like retwisting my lock so I just pulled one of my wigs out of my uh, compartment and said, hey, we about to put this together because the deadline for the submission was 
yesterday and they reached out to me last minute and said hey can you do um a few clips on certain subjects so i had to whip up whatever i can whip up to do the uh recordings and it says you have a five second delay your mouth don't even move faster than what you're saying um is that happening for everyone like am i being delayed for everybody because <laughs> exactly kenneth like is everybody experiencing a delay richard yours is good it says hey but do you know when the loves will open on i-85 ato greenville corridor i have no idea those are questions y'all need to ask jason he knows when everything is about to open okay so you're good okay because i would hate to have to start this over now if it's shaking like that's the truck like the truck is on and this is the busiest loves ever like in order for me to record my video i ended up having to wait until everybody set their brakes and then start recording but i'm looking at my screen to see if i'm experiencing a delay but i don't think i'm having any issues okay so what's been going on with you guys like do y'all have any questions that y'all want to ask me like i am here to answer your questions where is your hiring location we're not currently if you're referring to the land that we got there's like we're not that we have a lot of work to do with that so i won't be giving that location out until we actually finalize on what we're going to do with that location but so far everybody knows that our office is based out of Little Rock Arkansas and it's actually downtown Little Rock but as far as the land that we just purchased we haven't it's a long way from opening date so I won't be dropping that location anytime soon yeah if you're on a laptop then you're definitely going to get some delays it says okay let me go back to this because i can't see that well so let me see if i can go on here and answer some of your questions how long did it take you to find the land the land is located in jason's old hometown neighborhood so it didn't really his father actually found it for us and it took we were searching for a property if you were asking we were searching for um properties for like at least a year or two before we stumbled upon some land that just so happened to be in jason's uh neighborhood where he grew up and our biggest issue was um uh, most of the land that we were finding was out in the middle of nowhere so the cheap land like most of the affordable land was out in the middle of nowhere where it's like hardly any services so that's how come it was we almost gave up and said screw it we're just going to get a house and minimum it has to be one acre and just say forget it but last minute that's when his father uh mentioned that to us and we thought about it because he really didn't want to move back there but we're just going to have to drive longer distances to because i don't like the school system in that area so we're just gonna have to drive about 15 minutes out of range in order to take my daughter to school when she starts going to school just to put her in a better school district but it says uh <laughs> no it says when the freightliner classic excel video is coming back let me tell y'all <laughs> actually tried to do a, an updated video on the classic XL. I started doing like the interior um wrapping the interior and let me tell you I am not in the mood like I was so apt to do work on that truck but the whole situation that just took place with the truck just it has really gotten me to a point where I really just want to go ahead and focus on paying off the rest of the payments get the title in my hand look at it and i think i'll be more motivated to work on the truck because right now it, i feel like all of my joy and excitement for that truck has completely went out the window 
and when I was putting the vinyl up I just completely snatched it off and said you know what forget this I'm gonna have to give it a little bit more time before I jump back into this truck so I don't know um, another reason why I haven't really done videos is because I'm still waiting on someone to remove the out of the base so that I can do the flooring so the flooring is pretty much the next project it says uh, I'm good have to log off and come back all right crazy uh, check with you later what's popping what's up bird? <laughs> calling me that's when everybody wants to freaking call me oh my goodness and I can't exit out I don't even know if I can like come back and return to you guys but hey let me see if I can answer a few more before I um, get off of here and return that call it says thank you road queen uh purple no that's not gonna be the color although that's one of my favorite colors but that's not gonna be the color for the truck it's also not gonna be pink either so if you guys are wondering that no the truck isn't gonna be pink as you guys can see with the interior um it's gonna we're going with red and black it says uh thank you and uh can you get a pizza delivery way out there yes you can it's not way out there, but I'm not even sure if I can get a pizza delivery because I've been having trouble just trying to get um, like plumbers, electricians, just regular contractors to come out there. I've been having to practically beg people to come out to do uh, different odd jobs on the property. So I'm not sure if a pizza person will come out there. Uh, can we please see the <laughs> baby sometimes? I will definitely include her. It's a, but honestly, the internet is so crazy that, and I'm so like short temper, temper that I don't feel like dealing with trolls and your wild comments. So that's why I don't really show my daughter a lot on the videos because I'm the type of parent that if you guys say something that's off the wall, I'm probably going to come and visit you. So to save me from being short-tempered and everything, I just completely keep her off of it because I'm crazy and I know how I am. Let's see. It says, uh, <sighs> I wish I can help you with the truck. I wish you can too. Brand new rookie driver, what do you recommend OTR or local, the quickest way to get experience? Um, well, for the most part, there, most companies don't, if you're a rookie driver like in the industry, there aren't too many companies that will allow you to do local. You might have to do your first um, over the road or regional, but some companies do hire you local, but not that many. So I would say it's not like you have a choice. I would say get that first year in, whether it's OTR or regional. If you can get a regional, that will be fine. And then after a year, pretty much after a year, anybody is pretty much willing to hire you as long as you keep your driving record clean. So, hope that answered that question. Be safe out there. Thank you, Dirty Broke. Uh, septic tank. No, we don't have septic tank. There's actually uh, city water and everything out there. So, thank God I don't have to do septic tank. Um, you got to ask the shipping receiving across the street who come to their stuff. I actually thought about that going over there and asking them, but the town is so... Let me tell you guys how small this town is. When I went to get services start activated, the water turned on, They, t I told them that I a garbage can and I needed a new garbage can. They told me that I had to go to the mayor's office to get a new garbage can. So when I heard that, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I have to go to the mayor's office for a garbage can? So that's, that lets you guys know how small that town is. Hey, I told my um, the realtor of the property that 
I might even run for mayor <laughs> if I keep having to go through all those uh, streams to get small things. Um, let's see, let's see. If it has gas come out, I do it. Um, the hot water. Okay, let me tell you guys. Nobody has lived in that house for over 15 years. So, and it has like gout pipes are like yesterday so all of this stuff is so new to me like i am learning stuff as i go so it has galvanized pipes all throughout the house and when we got the water turned on there is like where the washer and dryer hookups go the water comes out of there but there's a hot water tank and when we turned it on it had white creamy substance coming out of it so we're assuming the hot water tank needs to replace be replaced the bathroom doesn't have any plumbing in it at all and the kitchen doesn't faucet doesn't work but we just use the the water that was coming out of the the hot water tanks to pressure wash the outside of the property so we have a lot of work that needs to be done what we plan on doing is going in there and completely uh, stripping out all the floors, uh, the walls. It has old wood paneling in there. We're going to rehang drywall. But before we do all of that stuff, after we strip out the floors, the walls and everything, we're going to have an electrician and plumber go in there and just completely replace all the pipes because, or put in pipes where there aren't any at all. So that's what our plans are. It says, uh, great recent grads, OTR, but I'm having issues with Roadrunner. Got class B, looking to get class A. Watermelon loads, we've been doing plenty of watermelon loads. I feel like this, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. We reached six months in our, um, with our 30. So with that, we've been doing so many watermelon loads. I am tired of seeing watermelons. So we are so excited that we have six months because over the past few days, I've been filling out so many new carrier setups to do business with all of the bigger companies that'll require six months like um, FedEx, Prime, who else? There's a company called Chop Tank. They do pretty good, decent loads. There's there's pretty much Snyder, all of the major larger companies that do like reefer loads throughout their brokerages, we're now able to uh, haul their freight. So I'm gonna be doing more videos uh, showing you guys how we book loads and because we don't have those limitations on us anymore. So that's something that you guys can look forward to. It says, I got a clean MVR, but I'm getting screwed over on getting a driving job, okay? sunshine for mayor <laughs> who's gonna vote for me if you want to vote um sunshine for mayor of my town put sunshine for mayor at the bottom and when i do run for mayor i'm gonna be looking for you guys so it says uh gotta go drivers all right heel mr c hill see you later waiting on my 30 to arrive what brokers will work with me coming out the gate i can tell you just off the top of my head you got TQL, Skate Robinson, and those are two major companies for Van. But if you want a longer list of them, you can send me an email and I'll I'll respond and I'll give you like a basic list. But honestly, um, there's only a handful, literally. So when I tell you guys, this past six months has really it could have been. I'm gonna not gonna say it was a struggle because by us team driving. It's hard to turn down a team. So that's what helped us um, get more yeses than no's. But when I first got my 30 the last time and I was running solo, there was hardly anybody that wanted to you know, work with us. So if you're thinking about getting your authority and you wanna be able to get over, get more loads and not have to be stranded places, I would advise you or recommend you team drive so that you can get more yeses. Um, at Swift having issues with my mentor. Good luck with that. Uber allows you to run immediately. Um, I haven't really tried Uber freight loads. We haven't pulled any Uber freight loads, but I heard they do uh they have like power only setup, but 
honestly you guys the reefer is paying more than the van so that's how, probably why we haven't done any uber loads it says i'll vote for you sis or get away from Smith. oh my goodness um thank you for uh thank you chris uh chris for the vote but one of the things that we tried to stay away from when we were, even though we were pretty much, I wouldn't say desperate for loads, but it's not like we had too many people offering us loads, but we really wanted to stay away from just, we could have settled and gave in because after 90 days of having your authority, you can pretty much pull JB Hunt power only loads where you just drop your trailer and hook to their trailers. But we didn't really want to do that. We wanted to, uh, we made more money just by pulling other loads. So there are companies, there's a lot of different ways that you can make money to help you get through the first six months. Like if you don't have a trailer, um, there's like load out trailers on board or you can have, uh, or tow away trailers where you can actually hook up to somebody's trailer and they'll pay you and you can use the trailer for up to like, seven to ten days and drop it off in another location but that's not always the best deal sometimes when you drop it a trailer off after you've used it there's no other trailers nearby so you might have to deadhead all the way back to your trailer so that's not a good thing i would recommend you buy your trailer before you do that any i thought all female truckers oh my goodness i am not this is see mr um I, you guys in your this i have to read this stuff out i'm i read out loud so when i see stuff like i can't pre-screen it first so i have to read that out loud i can't say that it says whoops is this the are you okay you're about to be blocked let's see we about to block our first person and a long time and i usually don't block people but rusty swing you just got blocked or deleted i don't know i probably failed at doing that but thank you robert if you guys uh let's see how long have we been live 22 minutes and first of all thank you to everybody all of our new subscribers a lot of people have subscribed to us because they just saw the whole five acres of us getting the five acres so a lot of people are looking forward to that project so welcome all new subscribers we will be doing probably like a separate um playlist probably calling it the five acre project showing you guys how we fix up the property because a lot of you want to see that but we've grown like we were at like 14,000 subscribers now we're almost at 16,000 and you guys I'm amazed like that video that one video by itself got over what is that 36,000 views in a five-day period so I am so happy that you guys are happy for us like I read every single comment on that uh video and I even responded to some but I am so like I was like blown away I can't believe all of it actually went that far and I can't believe so many people commented so thank you guys for um all of your um stories and oh that's what i really came on this video to tell you guys give me one second i actually got from that video i actually got a lot of calls from either my drivers or just i even got calls from truck drivers wives calling me saying hey where you guys you inspired us you guys inspired us and we're trying to do the same thing and how did you guys do it so that's what the actual purpose of this video was for to give you guys a reminder of how we were able to obtain our land and what did we do a lot of people were asking us questions about about how did we obtain it? Did we do credit or did we do cash and so many things? So I'm probably gonna do a whole separate video on that, on how to buy land and what to look for and stuff like that. But to keep it simple as far as how we obtained it, simple and easy. If you guys go back and look at our old videos, you guys will see how consistent we are 
with keeping you guys informed with what we are doing in terms of being completely honest with you guys. The first video, and a lot of the stuff, I'm going to be honest with you guys, a lot of the stuff is extremely boring watching what we had to go through, but if you guys go back and you guys do the same steps, I guarantee you, we you will be able to buy you some land. So let me see. I see it says, does any of the brokers allow persons who hasn't pulled reefers in a while to pull reefer freight? Well, <laughs> first, you're, that question is like broad. It's like when you set up your business and you're communicating with brokers or customers to pull their freight, they're not going to ask you how long you've been how long you've been pulling reefer. They're not gonna ask you those questions, but you need to make sure that you have experience and that you trust yourself with hauling someone else's freight because you want to avoid getting a freight claim. So if you don't have that much reefer experience, I wouldn't advise you jump out and try to pull someone's freight because if you lose that low, then you're going to get a, a serious claim on, under your business. So that's a broad question. But if you're familiar with reefer and everything and you you want to purchase a reefer and start pulling reefer freight, just make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you have um, your equipment is together. Like our equipment is not the newest equipment but we make sure before we pull it reefer we make sure we have reefer breakdown insurance we have um a hundred and fifty thousand dollar cargo insurance and we also have a, a look at landstar <laughs> we also have a maintenance account where if anything happens with the reefer before we book another load we don't take risks we're gonna go and get that reefer looked at before we just um put someone else's product on our uh truck it says it says i've seen you first and i'll talk to you but i just happen to come across you now how can i con oh lord next it says um rock on girl love from cali i'm looking to get out of cali because 70 percent of my net income goes to rent jobs are good here but it's expensive my cali friends already know how I feel about um, California. I, California is beautiful. I feel like I should be there, but I am too poor for Cali. I cannot live there. Everything in Cali is so expensive and I wouldn't recommend starting a business in Cali as well because if the living there is expensive, then definitely the taxes and everything, even the business registration from when you first launch your application, ROs is usually like $50, but I think Cali's is like hundreds of dollars just to start your business. So if I were you, I would move to like a southern state if you want to be um, really successful. Not saying that you can't be successful in trucking and living in Cali, but Cali just makes everything a whole lot tougher. But um, most people from Cali are just so, I don't know what to, I would say you're, that whole Hollywood lifestyle, you guys are so addicted to that, that it's hard to pull you guys away from that. But if you want to um, expand your money, sometimes it's best to move to a area, southern states, where everything is a lot cheaper. So that means you can get more done and you can grow faster. It says, uh, let's see, cheap labor. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up now. I'm Mexican. Cheap flavor can do your landscaping. Got a CDL with tanker and hazmat. Can be your yard jockey too. A fan of your channel. Hey, don't talk too soon, original, because I might put you on flight. Like, I need, do you know a carpenter? Like, seriously, like, uh, I need an electrician, a plumber, like, two carpenters. Like, I need so much work right now. And I've been looking. And so if you guys are in, in in Arkansas and you know anyone, look at this guy in his cooler. And you know anyone that's looking to work, seriously work, like have them contact me because I've I'm I've been having a hard time looking for um people that want to work. He's gonna kill me. It says I got rejected on a low three straight weeks, not a claim though. Wow. 
it says stop blushing what do you mean oh lord next oh lord um can't ask a serious question i don't hurt to hear a pretty girl run her mouth um oh dang it just left hold on y'all give me one second hold on let me see is this gonna end it is this gonna end it oh my goodness Oh, give me one second. Hold on. Okay. I got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That's all. And then I have to take calls and respond to drivers. So I just res uh, let them know they said okay. So that's all I got is 10 minutes, maybe even less than that. And then, so you guys, I'm just going to spend this last 10 minutes at answering your questions and just chatting with you guys. Um, yes, I am still a great Y. I have drivers. We run the van division. And as you guys know, the van rates were kind of down. They're slowly picking back up. But yes, I'm still a great Y. I know I don't talk about it a lot, but we've been just running uh on on the low keeping it on the low okay it says yes no i don't have an email for you <laughs> it says um it's very expensive are y'all look uh, on one of those facebook resale sites for a good handyman i have looked on craigslist that is how desperate i am right now i have looked on craigslist and the problem is with the town that i live in most of the carpenters and plumbers they're older and they used to uh put their information in the white pages or yellow pages and we don't do that anymore like we get online so a lot of them don't know about putting their stuff on like angie's list or something like that so it's been really hard finding work and most of the people if you're looking for someone you have to ask the community like hey do you know someone that works on this and they'll say hey just go knock on his door so that's how small the town is and for now all of the carpenters and um, plumbers and everything they've pretty much old and retired so now I have to go recruit some younger new generation workers from a different city to come and help me with this project it says uh, hey from Australia Lee D that's crazy um it says tell bro and baby what's up um live in vegas now though had to get out of there myself actually in phoenix unloaded and then got a load to the house swear about it it's from cali are you hiring from out of florida in miami if you're floyd if you're referring to like van you want to pull a van under the great wide division and yes we are hiring it says least hot shot drivers no they do not we don't currently work with hot shot drivers sorry what's up Rome about business are you available oh that's another thing if you are from Georgia Georgia is banned Georgia is banned from calling me y'all my voicemail every single day is filled with nothing but Georgia callers asking about dispatching and you guys know I told you guys that I don't really teach or talk about dispatching or whatever so if you're calling me from Georgia and it's about dispatching I do not teach or talk about dispatching or if you are from Georgia and you have a question you have to email my email is sunshine at highwaydivas.com because i'm going to tell you guys right now i am not going to take the call because of the amount of the volume every now and then i answer one and every single time i answer the call is related to dispatching and freight brokering and it's back-to-back -back calls from just the whole state of georgia is banned off of my list so you guys have to email me sorry because it takes up way too much of my time and I I'm always looking for incoming calls and you guys it's so hard to get you guys off the phone so you got to email me Georgia the whole state of Georgia you got to email me for any questions so if you're wondering why I'm not answering the phone it's because y'all call too much <laughs> but 
let's see um what's up robert flag and hold on what's up asian my show i don't think i've ever had you in a um live before it says and thank you let's see terry jones can you give me info on starting my own business sure honestly you guys if you email me you would get a better response than trying to call in because we have so many brokers that call us for different reasons just to check on the drivers that it's so hard to get through to me and i know a lot of you have probably been upset about not getting through to me you're probably like this girl never answers her phone but honestly i spend so much time answering 1-800 numbers and 877 numbers from brokers that your number if i see like a local number it probably will get overlooked because i have to take the more the business calls first so if you email me and i know a lot of you are probably like well i tried that too if you email me and i see something and it says freight dispatching or whatever i'm probably gonna have to overlook it because again i do not talk about freight dispatching or brokering and stuff like that so if you have any other questions i will it's best to email me what load board did you guys use with your new mc number we use dat load board it's one of my videos if you look up like low boards i have a link up under that video where you can sign up and get 30 days free on dat trucker's edge it's like the beginner board you get 30 days free and i believe after that it's like 30 no less than 50 dollars no more than 50 dollars per month i use the big board but if you are just now getting into low boards and you just want to get um a basic idea of how it works i would recommend you first do the 30 days free and then upgrade it to the bigger boards let's see all right kenneth hey chris you're back it says what's up long time no see i'm doing fine cool breeze uh it says a few dollars in good credit and you can start any business you want after that learn the knowledge of the business you want to get into that is correct but i would me i'm the opposite i study first like it's good to have the money in the the credit but i'm also like um a research junkie so I spend a lot of my time just researching and taking notes and I have like a million notebooks and notepads and sticky notes that are almost everywhere of me writing down 